Hey everyone, it's Simplicity here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you've probably guessed from the title, I'm building a, a high school in The Sims 4. And I'm actually building a, a rather exclusive private boarding school um, because I wanted to take the idea of this the high school in The Sims one step further um, and build something that's a little bit more out there. So yeah, I decided to build a boarding school, which I thought would be a really fun idea. Um, and it is set in the 64 by 64 lot in Brindleton Bay. And the reason I chose Brindleton Bay as opposed to some of the other uh, worlds is because I thought that if it was a boarding school, it's probably gonna be a little bit out of the way, set in you know this beautiful campus in nature, and this lot just looked perfect. And because it's by the sea, I thought, okay, well maybe they've got I don't know like a boat club or something. And um, this main building that you'll see me building today, I would imagine being part of a campus. So um, you'll see it later on in the video, but I don't end up building any dormitories or like living quarters um, in this build here, just because. Um, a, it would have been absolutely huge and also it would have been really tedious for you guys to watch me build like the same dormitory over and over again. So what I want you guys to imagine is that it's just um, part of the campus and you know the different students will walk to their various uh, boarding houses depending on whereabouts they are. So yeah that was my that was my idea with this but i absolutely loved building this i have had so much fun it's been a big challenge don't get me wrong i don't tend to build things like this very often but um yeah it was great fun and i loved the building so i found my inspiration for this building on pinterest and it does look very different to my inspiration photo but it was really useful to get that kind of um Georgian colonial style um, look that I was going for with the main building and it's this lovely u-shaped building which has this like protruding front part which really like frames the rest of the building and I really like it and I think when you'll see once I've done the landscaping it sits really really nicely into the surrounding uh, like grounds and with all of the sports pitches and the basketball court that I'm building um, just to the left there that you can see. So yeah, I had an absolute well of a time building this. It was so fun and I really, really hope you guys like it as well because I know kind of doing commercial uh like not residential lots isn't my usual thing usually i'm doing a lot of homes and they're very historical and they literally look like they have come straight out of the past and i love doing that don't get me wrong but it was so fun to try and do something different for once um and yeah so in i do use custom content in this video um, but I will link all of it down below and um, it don't worry it's actually mostly by one creator and they're called Nocturne and the reason I use so much of their stuff is because uh, they have basically renovated a lot of the objects from The Sims 3 and it made it compatible for The Sims 4 and so a lot of the items from Sims Three university and by like things like that were really useful paired with the sims 4 university stuff and the sims 4 get to work but yeah i think those were the main three that i used was um nocturne cc and also uh get to work and discover university um but like i was saying i loved how there were so many offices in this build because that's like completely alien to me in terms of what I usually tend to build, like the an office, like a modern office is probably the furthest away from my usual style. So it was really fun. Um, and yeah, so in terms of the grounds, you can see the main front area is kind of this like quad of walled um, like flower beds and things and this main pathway leading up to the front. There is a car park that I'm building just now and this is using live edit objects. Quite a lot of the foliage and the landscaping that I use in this build comes from live edit objects. Um, so it's already in the game and if you don't know how to access it, you can literally just Google um, live, like it's similar to debug objects and it's, you know, just Google how to enable it and you'll have like triple the amount of objects that you usually have because they're all there, they're just hidden usually. Um, and what else? So yeah, there's a basketball court 
which is like a walled one, well, fenced in one. And then there's also two soccer pitches or obviously I'm British, so I'm calling them football pitches. Um, and they're using the same markings from the, uh, from the basketball court, but I put footballs on each of them. So your Sims can still play, it will look as if they're playing football basically. Um, and yeah, I think the landscaping on this build turned out so well. I was really, really happy with how it all worked out because I usually think everything looks a bit like stuck out until you add the landscaping in and then suddenly it all like settles and it looks like it all fits together. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can probably tell I'm quite a big fan of doing landscaping in my builds at this point. So what I'm doing right now is actually my favorite trick that I've ever done with a build, I think. And I decided to use terrain paints to make the effect of the grass being mowed so that it looks like a proper authentic sports pitch. And the thing I like about this is it won't like go anywhere. It's not like a floor tile that can be deleted. It's terrain paint. So your Sims can still play on it and it won't interrupt anything. Um, so yeah, I just used a different color terrain paint and I painted over it and I think it looked really cool. Um, and it made the, it just added a bit of variety to just what otherwise would have been a lot of plain ground. So I like that. And out the front, there is also a small playground area. And I would imagine because this is the high school, it's probably not used a lot, but I don't know, maybe there's a group of kids who will go and like ironically sit on the baby swing at lunchtime. And it will be like the cool kid area is only allowed for like the kids to go and sit on the swing or something. I'm not sure, but I was creating all these little stories in my head and making these little areas and, You'll see in the intro video that I made, I made a video of two Sims kissing like around the corner in the library. And I thought, oh yeah, that could be like a little secluded spot that they all go to. And yeah, so there's also an outdoor pool around the back, which I thought would be beautiful in summer. And I'd imagine in Bridleton Bay, it gets quite warm in the summertime. So they would want to do like outdoor swimming galas and stuff. And they have a swim team. And yeah, and there's also a decking that I added out the back um, on the second floor which you can see me decorating in a second and this uh, is used for it's got a mic not a microscope what's it called a telescope it's got, <laughs> it's got a telescope on it and that's what's used um, like maybe during their physics lessons or something or when they're like studying astronomy and things like that so now I've moved on to decorating the interior. So the floor plan took me such a long time to figure out. I ended up cutting it off camera and I've done that with quite a few rooms in this build just because it's so long already, you guys, and I didn't want it to be boring and repetitive. So some of the most repetitive bits, like making a floor plan, which is just a lot of me changing my mind over and over again, I have I haven't included in the speed build and I hope you guys don't mind that but I think it just makes it more interesting to watch to be honest. So there's the main foyer area which leads up to this huge grand staircase um, which I would imagine all of the pupils like flooding up and down every at the change of every period every lesson break and um, there's a little seating area which leads to this kind of uh, reception nook and I've seen this used in quite a lot of like high school movies that you see and they usually have a reception desk in some sort of waiting area where maybe like visitors will wait to meet with the principal um, but there's also an inside um, reception bit so you'll go in and there's another one facing the opposite direction as well as uh, the principal's secretary's desk um, which is the one that I'm literally currently working on now that you can see with lots of filing cabinets, all of which came with get to work. And I don't think I've ever used these ever in my whole, what, how long has the Sims 4 been out? Like seven years or something? I don't think I've ever built with them at all. So it was really refreshing to use some new things and make it look like a cluttered and lived in office that they were really busy working and yeah it was really fun so in a minute i go on to work on the principal's office and i made this look quite um luxurious isn't the right word i'm kind of thinking 
it's quite proper and you'll see what I mean in a minute but it's got wood panelled walls and it's got lush like dark wood furnishings and the reason I did this is because again I was kind of thinking throughout building this that it was a private school and you know maybe prospective parents will come and look around and you know they have to create some sort of image that it's very exclusive and wealthy whatever and top-notch so yeah that's what they did here um, and I put in these really nice bookcases and um, a little desk with two chairs facing it so that people could come in and have meetings with the principal and I think it works really well I'm really pleased with how the whole floor plan works because everything fits logically I'm, I was kind of thinking when I was making it how stuff would lay out and how it would actually work in person um, you guys know me by now I don't like to just slap rooms together and pretend that it will work I like to kind of imagine that I'm an architect and I'm designing it properly and how it would actually be useful because it just it makes stuff flow better it makes stuff um, more playable as well for you guys when you're playing these builds um, if you want to download them uh, the link is in the description by the way <laughs> but yeah it makes it a lot it makes more sense basically so now I'm moving on to the library and this is one of the long rooms towards the back of the school that overlooks the playing fields and the kind of outdoor seating area and the library isn't huge that is one of the rooms that I would have made bigger have had I done it again but I think it was pretty decent size and it's got a couple of computers it's got a lot of bookshelves um, a little desk for the librarian to sit at so yeah I think for me that worked really well and um, so coming off from the library there's also a counsellor's room like a school therapist or like a school counsellor's office and I really wanted to include this because I know that Stranger Things has been such a big thing recently and so I was like totally reminded that lots of schools will offer like therapy or like guidance counselling to their students and so this is what I went with here and it's got these comfy um, like leather sofas with like low level lighting and it's just a small secluded room at the back of the school where pupils can go to when they get a bit upset or overwhelmed or they're dealing with things um, yeah and I just thought that was a nice touch to add in um, but it is quite cramped but I kind of wanted that vibe because you know they're having some of the rooms be slightly less spacious adds to that um you know kind of oh we've got a spare room and we're using it for this purpose kind of vibe so yeah that's what i went with <laughs> so on the ground floor as well there is also a dining room and a kitchen i wanted to include a kitchen because i don't know how obviously the new pack hasn't been released yet so I don't know how it's gonna work I don't know if they're gonna have to bring their own lunches or what but I thought seeing as it's a boarding school they're gonna be given food whilst they're there so they're gonna have kitchens and there's gonna be catering staff and I even used the fridges in the cafeteria that you can actually purchase food and drinks from so if you want your sims to be able to visit this um I don't know if you can set it as a high school with the new pack I'm not sure how that works but you could always set it as like a library for example or a teen you can do a teen study spot and things like that um, and have lots of teenagers come and visit here and then they can purchase food and drinks um, also on the ground floor you'll see that there is going to be two uh, classrooms that I make I believe one is a biology classroom because I used the skeletons and lots of like science posters around so it's kind of a science and biology classroom and then the one opposite it is a geography classroom and I had these really cool like maps like pin-up world maps that came and I thought okay well that looks kind of cool to create the impression that it's a geography classroom <laughs> So yeah, that's what I did. And then there's also a changing room on the opposite end of the corridor, along with a gym. You know, I was kind of thinking that this school is very sporty. You know, they have a lot of sports banners everywhere. They have a lot of sports fields. So those um, very sporty pupils are gonna need to use the gym to stay fit and strong and healthy and all sorts of stuff. 
So these lockers, I can't remember what pack these lockers came with, but I literally use them everywhere. I think they're actually base game and they were perfect because they were, they're, annoyingly they didn't come in other colors, but I thought that white looked really nice in the blue corridors, um, but they were perfect because they're the same kind of like skinny locker design that you see. The school I went to didn't have lockers. I, I've never had a locker in my life, but um, I'm taking a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and from the movies that you see. So please, please tell me if I'm wrong with any of this and this if this is completely unrealistic, but this is what I went with. <laughs> So yeah, what I'm building now is the geography classroom and the whiteboards and the desks and things came from Nocturne, which is the CC creator I mentioned earlier. And um, yeah, I really liked how I've tried to use a different color theme for each classroom. So the geography classroom is kind of got this teal like blue theme. And then the science one is more like dark blue colored. And then like upstairs, I think there's some other classrooms that I'll talk about in a minute. But yeah, I like the fact that it, it kind of makes you think that you're in a different room psychologically so that they don't look all the same. I didn't want it to be boring <laughs> in that way. So yeah, so that was the uh, geography classroom. And I spent quite a lot of time just cluttering up the desks, making it look like there were pupils actively using them and they'd just maybe gone out to break and left all their stuff in their classrooms. Um, and yeah, like I said, it was so fun to use all of these little items that I never usually get to use. So now I'm on to the science classroom. And the thing I liked about this build is I got to include so many um, different hobbies as well. So you'll see that there's skeletons and there's like whiteboards and desks and things, but there's also the little elements table. So I thought maybe they could have like a club um, of like really smart kids who would go around and try and collect all the elements. And like after school, they would go to their science classroom and they would like study together and they would like do their extracurricular work and stuff like that. And I thought that that was a really fun touch. So I really tried where I could to include as many different hobbies as I could think of. Basically the activity section of the catalogue I have completely used. I have put them everywhere because I wanted the pupils to be able to express themselves and have a different hobby uh, depending on what they wanted to do. So yeah. And I use two different types of desks. So some classrooms have the smaller singular desks and some of them have double desks. And this was just depending on the size of the room and also whether I like wanted, um, whether I thought that maybe the pupils would sit on their own or in like partners. I don't know, I feel like in some subjects you would have a partner to do your work with. So that's why I put them on slightly larger desks. So this is the gym and as you can see it's equipped with literally everything you would need. It's got the fighting box, it's got weights, it's got punch bags and treadmills and everything and I added mirrors along it as well and if you didn't want your sims to like use the weightlifting part you could very easily just turn it into like a dance floor or put the yoga teacher mats on it and have like yoga classes being led there. So. It's a really flexible space that you can change, um, but I thought it went really well paired with the changing room, which is opposite. So that's why I built it at this end of the school. So there's not much to say about the changing room other than it's just small and, you know, add, I added lots of little like towel detail, details and robes and stuff like that. And um, oh yeah, here you can see me cluttering up the walls of the corridors with all of these different posters. I swear I've never used so many different posters in a build before so that was another really fun thing to do and using all the small details like the little fire alarms and the fire extinguisher boxes that was really fun and that was new and I've never done that before. So now I'm moving on to the upstairs and as you can see the, the staircase peels round and comes up and oh my god that took me so long <laughs> to figure out. That's another big reason why I didn't put it on camera was because it was just so annoying to get that staircase to work and I honestly you guys I have no idea if it works in game and I'm really sorry if it doesn't but I don't tend to play 
like in game that much i just tend to build on the sims so i'm just thinking about how it looks from a building perspective and you guys can let me know what it's like if you want to play from it um but it looks really cool <laughs> so there's a lot of lockers you know there's loads of lockers lining pretty much every wall that's spare um, and the upstairs bit, I did not know what to do with this space and part of me was thinking that I could have put like a stage there and made it into like a speech and debate um, like platform that could have been used but I didn't end up going with that because I thought that that was kind of better outside so I just made it a seating area which is where you know they can come and chill in their break times, do some reading, do some homework on if they need to so yeah that's what I went with. And now this is my favorite room because art is my favorite subject. And yeah, so it's an art room. And I made this quite cluttered. It's not, it doesn't really look like an art classroom thinking about it now, but it does look like kind of an art room that you could imagine the pupils would go to for like an after school activity, like if they were doing independent work. So that's what this room is for here. And yeah, I loved using all of the like, kind of tatty looking furniture and all of the like paint stained um, easels and like canvas um, holders and things like that. Um, and yeah, a lot of this is base game. I'm pretty sure that there's only a few little bits of CC in this part. I think there's a couple of like, um, sp like spray paint cans and stuff, like small bits of decoration that are from custom content, but the rest of it is all just normal base game items so or not necessarily base game but you know like normal sims maxis items um and yeah so this room here that i'm building is a music school and a lot more of the upstairs classrooms are more extracurricular than like mm, academic i guess you would say so you know this has a music school and it's got a small stage for performing because i wanted to include every hobby that each sim that every sim could do i didn't want them to be limited to like just sports or just art so i wanted to add everything so it's got a very small performance stage on it uh, with a lot of different instruments and also you can see those two doors there they lead into the back and that has two very small practice rooms that I thought the pupils could use if they wanted to practice their instruments so one has I think a keyboard for them to do piano and a guitar and the other one has a lot of music mixing um, like stations so I don't know I was imagining maybe that would be where like a really um, cool laid back kid would go and like mix their music and maybe they're going to become a dj when they're older or or maybe even where they do like the school radio channel you know so that's what that room is for um and also i kind of had this funny idea that when i was at school the music rooms that were like this <laughs> everyone used to go and like make out in this classroom here is the school DT workshop and it's got a lot of different activities in here. As you can see, it's got the woodworking tables, the candle dipping tables, uh, the fabricator and the, and the what's it called? <laughs> the robotic station from Sims University. So this whole room is basically dedicated to the Sims that like to make things. And there's a lot of scrap wood from like failed building projects and cluttered kind of items that they've carved. Uh, and it's quite a simple room and it's also quite small, but I wanted to include it because I think I did DT when I was younger at school and I really enjoyed it and I think it's just it's something different to do with your sims and it might be really cool to start building on those skills when they're a teenager rather than waiting and only doing fun things with them when they're an adult basically. So that's the theme with a lot of these classrooms is I'm building on and developing their skills early on and that's part of I think what like a private school would offer is doing all of these extracurricular activities. So uh, then moving on to the building on the, the wing is an IT suite. And basically this I built because I thought, well, I could do another classroom, but it's kind of boring. and I don't want it to be repetitive. I've done a lot of classrooms. So let's build an IT suite. And maybe this is like where you would have some 
gaming club or like esports club would be really fun and so there's quite a lot of like high-tech monitors and stuff i also put in a listening station because i thought that would be hilarious maybe they've got like a code breakers like spy hackers club or something i don't know but yeah i thought that was a really good space to add in and um, I wanted, I just, I don't know, like every school that I've been in has had an IT suite. So I feel like that's kind of, kind of important to this school. And like I said earlier, the library wasn't big enough to fit that many computers in. So I thought I'd just use that room for it. And it, it worked out really nicely. This classroom that I am making here is what I imagined would be an English classroom. So it's got a little kind of L-shaped desk. It's got loads of books in it and, you know, those single um desks for all the different students um and it's yeah it's just got a couple of whiteboards in it it's quite cluttered it's got lots of books reading posters that i found i literally scoured through the catalog to find every photo possible that had like a book or like a reading theme in it so that's why there's a couple of repeats is because i only had very limited options and i even wanted i wanted the posters to be themed to the room you guys that is my dedication <laughs> to this build and I didn't include this in the speed build because it was just so long, but there's one toilet here that I built and there's, I think this is the girl's toilet and then there's the boy's one um, on the opposite end of the corridor. And don't worry you guys, I did include a non-gendered toilet downstairs for any Sims that don't feel like they want to conform to going and using a gendered toilet because that's really important to use nowadays. Um, and yeah, so across from the corridor from the English classroom, there's also a maths classroom. And again, I couldn't record that. I'm really sorry. It was just getting so long and I had to cut out some, some bits, but you will see it in the, um, in the screenshots in a bit, in the like montage that I make at the end. And this room was really interesting because again, I could have made another normal classroom, but there was all of these really cool um, machines that were related to like science and logic so i thought i would make a science lab and there's some clutter somewhere that i saw a couple months ago that is like all of these beakers and like bunsen burners and i thought oh my god when i make a high school i have to use that and i completely forgot about it and then when i was building this science lab you'll see right at the end i suddenly go oh my gosh i found them and then i put them in and i kind of use them everywhere so it looks really messy but I think you guys get the gist of what I was going for. Um, this, believe it or not, is exactly what the science labs at my school used to look like. Um, but I made sure to use some, to like include some of the machines. So I think there's like a chemical analysis machine, a science table. You guys, the build is done. I hope you love it. Let me know exactly what you think of it down in the description below and what you want to see next. And I love you so much. Bye.